Good morning, Patrick McGuire here with Empowered Entrepreneur. Just want to say that I'm starting something new. I'm tracking what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, and I'm going to share all this with you. So first things first, uh, it is happy Monday, happy Monday morning. Got my version of what I would call bulletproof coffee. Um, I do it my way. I just use straight up coconut oil, dump a good chunk in here and get it nice and hot and take a sip. That being said, these are going to be pretty raw video blogs or video podcasts for some of you. They're going to be really short. They're going to be straight to the point. Um, taking a new course, Content Marketing Mastery. Uh, taking this through DM Labs or Digital Marketer, as many of you know. I think Ryan Dice is doing a fantastic job. He's been doing it for well over 10 years now. He's got an incredible team that he's working with, and they put out just amazing content. Now they have sites that you have no idea about. They got tons and tons and tons of sites and they actually test all of their own theories and they make sure it works and then they report back to you. Kind of what I'm doing here, but I'm doing it from the marketer's perspective. Taking the course through Digital Marketer, uh, taking some other courses as well and becoming Mastery or Mastery Sutter certified for many of these programs. And I'm gonna report back to you and let you know how things are going. I'm happy to say that uh, Unfortunately, I decided to do this after the second lesson in the Content Marketing Mastery Certification course, and I'm very proud to say that I've scored 100% again. So these aren't really impossible scores to accomplish, but then again, their content standard for passing a quiz or a test is actually 70%. So a lot worse than going back to university, <laughs> but the content is a lot more fun. I just want to make sure that everybody understands that what you put into it is what you get out of it. And when it comes to marketing and content marketing, you really got to put in great content to get a great audience. In fact, that's part of lesson one and a little bit more in lesson two. <clears throat> just going to clear my throat here. Just want to make sure that everybody's aware I'm a volunteer, voluntold hockey coach, and I love it. I coach a young athletes team here in Burlington, Ontario, the Bulldogs, and we have a lot of fun. And so every Monday I'm going to have coach's voice. But that's how it is. That's life. We all have things that we have to do and we have to get around and we have to accomplish great things. We have to go to work on Monday. We have to take our courses and we have to be a marketer at Monday nights or Tuesday mornings or whatever that may be. So there's always the nine to five job that people do, but it's what you do after and before that makes you successful and who you are. So integrity is extremely important to me. Character is extremely important. And when you have integrity and character, you can make a difference. And when you make a difference in your own life, you make a difference in others. In fact, I look at it the other way around. I provide impact and try and help others first and take care of myself second. It always comes around. It works out fantastic. What I would say, though, is if you've got a nine to five job and you're an entrepreneur on the side and you're building a business and you're trying to work out your product or development, your idea, you know, part of it is actually just going through the paces. And you're going to have to keep your character and integrity at the top level. You're going to have to be a great employee. You got to be a great entrepreneur. You got to be a great father and husband and kids and sons and brothers and sisters and everything that people are asking you to be. If you're going to choose to do something, choose to do it 100% and put your full effort into it. And that's why I'm choosing to do this to let you know that not everything's going to be perfect. I'm recording this now and telling you how it's going for this course. Maybe one day I'll share a lot of my failures with you when times weren't so good, when they weren't easy to go by, and when I couldn't get up early in the morning to do something like this, uh, when I couldn't spend my days helping other companies and startups accomplish their marketing and sales goals. And, and I do believe that marketing and sales actually need to be the same. They're part of a team. They can't be segregated. I've worked for companies that put a wall between marketing and sales. And, you know, nowadays, those are the companies that are failing. They're holding on to a failing design, a failing business model, where you used to have the marketing team who would put out marketing and think it was great, but they were so disconnected from sales, they really didn't know what was going on. And then the sales team were expected to use those marketing materials that the marketing team put out and they ended up creating their own marketing materials and the messages would get blurred and you'd have a hundred different pitch decks around for customers and it just doesn't work. You've got to have one integrated team that knows what the other one is doing. You know, we've got two hands, if you will, and we got one brain and 
with that brain As I was saying before, I uh, had a little blip there in my computer. We got two hands and we got one brain. And as you know, it's the brain that keeps everything together. It gets these two hands working. So I got marketing and I got sales. Marketing and sales need to be together. And they need to be controlled by the brain. Usually the CEO, the executives and others that are actually in charge of things. They have a vision. They have a mission. They know exactly where they want to steer the ship. And you don't just go half haphazardly across the ocean. You actually know where you're going to go. Or in this case, in this world, the spaceship. We're looking at the shuttle. We're looking at rockets to Mars. And you don't kind of just mess around with that and let one team do what they do and, you know, hope the other team does what they do and hope that somehow they both take off together. It's not going to happen. So I'm going to spend time as the Empowered Entrepreneur actually relaying this out to you so it's a little bit different than normal a little bit different than what you're used to and you know we're going to take an approach that helps you actually do things through my successes and my failures through my activities and through everything else going on i just want to make sure that you understand that you've got to keep learning so today i'm sharing about the digital marketer labs content mastery marketing certification it's all about the top of funnel middle of funnel bottom of funnel how do we get them there? What goals? What metrics? What tools? What technology do we need? And how is it going to work? And how is it all going to come together? So for those of you that don't like to do all that, that you have great ideas, great products, great entrepreneurship, um, but you just aren't sure where to start, why don't you start by reaching out to me and I'm happy to answer any questions you have and be able to just give you some guidance. One of the great things that I have, one of the gifts I've been blessed with is the ability to see where someone wants to go. So to, to listen to understand, to have a vision for your product, you know, and to be able to share in that vision, to introduce you to other ideas, concepts that you might want to integrate, and also introduce you to those that can actually execute, because not all entrepreneurs can execute the digital side, the development, the technology, and all those other things, or maybe they can't do the marketing and the sales. That's where I'd be very happy to help out and step in or introduce you to other products and programs that can make that difference. So if you've got an idea, you want to be an entrepreneur, you got to just go out and do it. But you've got to take the courses. You've got to meet with people. You've got to learn from others how to do it. And maybe just take that first step. Maybe put it out there and share. Don't be so caught up thinking that you're the only one that ever thought of it and you're the only one that will ever be able to market it, build it, and sell it. Um, somebody else has done it too, but maybe they didn't execute. Or maybe you're building on someone else's great idea that you're making it better. Make sure you share that with others. If you're paranoid, super paranoid, get an NDA or something like that, a non-disclosure. Just put it in place. Um, and if you have partners, get it in writing and get it up front early. So anyways, I'm working with a lot of different organizations and clients these days. I'm very excited for a few of them. I'm going to actually be applying some of the new things that I'm learning. Yes, I'll admit it. I don't know everything. I certainly don't. Don't tell my kids that though. <laughs> I like to pretend that I do with them and we have a lot of fun with it. We joke around in the house about it, but the reality is that you can never stop learning. And that's why I've decided to go back and take a lot of courses to really up my game in the content marketing side of the world, as well as the customer acquisition side of business. Just going back and refreshing things that maybe are different between, you know, 15 years ago, maybe more when I got things going to just even five, six years ago when we were really rocking with a couple of digital properties that we had and dis different digital products to a couple of acquisitions we've gone through. <clears throat> and even just a couple of years when I revamped my learning and my tactics and techniques for marketing and sales to help out a couple of other startup companies that had successful exits, you know, it's changed. The landscape has changed. And unless you're a full-time learner, doer, and teacher, and that's really what you got to do. You got to learn, you got to do, and you got to teach. Otherwise, it's not going to work. But unless you are full-time, learn, do, teach, you need to brush up on your skills. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So for your Happy Monday video, 
This is Patrick McGuire. I'm going to sign off for now. Oh, and just so you know where I'm at. Lesson two, Digital Marketer Labs, the Content Marketing Mastery Certification course. I got 100%. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of that. So uh, you can do it too. Anyways, have yourself a fantastic day. We'll talk soon and we'll see what we can do about helping you to become an empowered entrepreneur. Visit Empowered Entrepreneur.